Hanster. All right. So Rosie is located behind me. For those of you who want to know where Rosie's at, she's right here on the seat behind me. She saw a cicada bug, which is huge. And it buzzed right by her nose today. And it frightened her so much that she came running back home uh, with me running behind her. So anyway, she's feeling a little insecure. I think it's kind of a mood thing with uh, the universe right now. The channeled messages that I have had come through this morning as I prepared for your reading is that many of you, most of the water signs, but especially you, Cancer, are having a difficult time over a falling out with a relationship that was very significant to you. It could be a love partner, it could be a best friend, it could be a relative that you adore, um, but it could be almost any kind of a relationship. It could be an adult child. But what I'm seeing is that I really think that you're suffering more than you need to. Of course we do when we're hurt. However, what I would say in the message that's coming through for me is that your person is dealing with a lot of pain. They didn't mean to hurt you even if they were very difficult with you. Even if they said terrible things, hurt people hurt people. Remember that what is yours from the divine can never be taken from you. And I want you to know that your dreams, I think, Cancer, and for all the water signs, are very significant at this time. I want you to jot them down because a recurring dream, according to therapists, psychologists, and dream experts, holds a secret. So I would say jot your dreams down and try to see if you can figure out the mystery involved. You know, Google different things, if there's a color, if there's a symbolic um, message that you think you keep getting and you don't understand, research it also. But I am going to pull a dream decoder card for you when we start the reading momentarily. Um, I also want to tell you that whatever you're feeling about your career is temporary. I know that many of you are very worn out because of the, the astrological transits and you have good reason to be exhausted. But I want you to know that you don't have to ring the alarm about your personal security. When you get overwhelmed, I want you to take a deep breath and when you start to feel fear, I want you to stop yourself. I want you to say, Spirit, I'm so grateful for the beautiful home I live in, or I'm so grateful for the friends I have, or I'm so grateful to live in a nice neighborhood, or I'm so grateful you fill in the blank. So that's what I want you to do because it will invoke the laws of attraction and it will pull you out of that energy instantaneously. We can't, it's an interesting thing because our thoughts drive our emotions. And when you change your thought, you change your emotion. So if you're having a bad moment, you can say, stop in the name of love for yourself. I'm going to stop thinking that recurring thought. I'm going to replace it with a gratitude, something I feel grateful about. And it will help you really modulate your emotions and you'll feel much better and much happier. So we're gonna start the shuffle right now. I'm gonna do a speed shuffle. I like to let you see that shuffle so you know the reading is authentic. All right, Cancer, we have your shuffle, and I pulled a Dream Decoder card for you. And what this card means is it's, it's the card of dreaming of any kind of natural disaster or an earthquake, flood, fire. It can also be anything like an explosion, a bomb, an accident. And these dreams are really unsettling, but they are not precognitive dreams. They are dreams that speak of your inner turmoil. And didn't we see that in the channeled messages? So if you are having this sort of dream, you need to look within and you know, remember what I said in the channeled messages for your guidance for the month, okay? When I look at this month, it is a powerhouse for you. I love it. So let's go ahead and look at the table shot. I'm gonna clarify a few cards, but it's wonderful. So let's see what we have. Cancer, as you enter the month, you're in this very solid, stable energy about really looking at your life and demanding and requiring now that you have equal give and take in relationships. 
that if you don't have a relationship that has equal give and take with it, within the nature of the relationship, you are not going to settle for it. And that's a very powerful a way to look at things is for you to set the rules and the boundaries, which is what keeps you safe, happy, and healthy. Now your overall energy coming into the reading is phenomenal, Cancer. Here you are in your reading. Whether you feel like you're moving forward rapidly or not, you are honey, I'm home. You are all about your security, your happiness, your home, your hearth. You are really, really looking at things you're looking under all the rocks, all the dark corners, all the closets where you think you might have skeletons, and you are shaking them out, and you are doing the work with this beautiful star card. We see the, the Empress card, the Queen of the Queens, manifestation, cancer coming forward for you in your life. We really see you with this like new childlike energy, this page energy. You don't expect too much. You really don't ask too much from other people. And you are willing to throw caution to the winds. Now, when you think about entering or re-entering this relationship we discussed earlier, you're really feeling very, very much underwater. You feel very lost. It's Pisces energy again feeling like you're so far underwater, you don't know what's going on, you can't get to the surface. You know, you're really swimming around in, in a lot of emotions, but please take note that she's very calm, that, you know, she's looking at this with a lot of longing, the emotions, feeling very, very much that you're longing for someone and that you almost have to keep it buried. We also see you in this energy of really having a checklist, having a checklist of reasonable ideas about what is required for you to receive what you deserve in relationships. Now, what I'm seeing here is that I don't think that you spoke up for yourself earlier. I get this person as being someone who sort of went along for the ride, let somebody else drive the car, and the Knight of Cups, the romantic partner, if it is a romantic partner, whoever, literally fell off their horse. They just fell right off that horse. We do see that you're longing for some sort of reconciliation and so is the person that you're thinking about, whoever it is when you came to the reading. So we're, let's go ahead and clarify a few cards here for you because this is a very powerful month in which you're going to have success you are going to have success, Cancer. And what we see here is that even though you're feeling unsettled, this is a time that you are manifesting what you need and what you want without another person because it's making you so aware of what it is that you desire. And you know that you have the power to provide it for yourself. You're also redefining what you want in relationships and what you will accept and what you won't accept, which is life altering. It breathes new life. The death of old bad habits and the birth of new happier habits. You're not settled right now. It does look as though when we look at the Four of Cups, your unhappiness, it shows that you're beginning to see have the understanding, the epiphanies, the eureka moments, the like, oh my God, the lightning strike of, of wisdom is hitting you and it's really making you and helping you understand how you need to be more balanced. Again, we get this sort of energy of equal give and take as being very significant and very much a requirement of how you're going to find and manifest this beautiful love. You are the empress, you bring everything to the table and the star card tells us that your hopes and dreams for love will be fulfilled. And though, sort of like the mechanic who's working on restoring an old car, it doesn't necessarily happen at the, well, it never happens at the flip of a light switch. It's always a process. And we see that you're, you're sort of going, when, when, when? You have such an urge to ask the question, when? And what I'm seeing is that's not really helpful. Stay in the energy of really feeling confident that you were very much loved and that your person got lost in the path of this relationship. They just did. 
And so you want to remain calm, cool, and collected. And look at your outcome card is courage, tenacity, the strength card, Leo energy. It is exquisite, but it shows that when the time is right, you will throw caution to the winds, but you are in this beautiful energy of the Empress card for September. So you're going to, if whatever Empress energy that you've lost, you're going to find your path back to the best parts of yourself by taking beautiful care of yourself. Cancer, that is a reading I have. Sending you love. I do personal readings. You may want to check out the website, irishdonna.com. Bye-bye, Cancer. Take care.